<clears throat> Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Iris. How are you today? Is very good. I'm tired, teacher. Very good. I'm yes, I can imagine, Iris. But thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And today is going to be the final class, so we can be happy yeah, because of that. Really happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. After the class, we can just go uh, to party or to yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Here is. Hello, Carlos. What are you doing? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Well, I'm 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 doing Good great. Evening, teacher, how are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están, guys? Carlos Regalado y Carlos Heriberto. Tenemos dos Carlos acá. I'm doing fine. How are you? Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking, Carlos. Yes. Um, just a little tired because it's the end of the week. I think that that's probably the reason why. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy, just like you guys, because tomorrow uh, we are going to have off. Right? We are not going to do anything, at, at least in my case. Okay? I don't know if you guys have to work tomorrow, but I don't work tomorrow. I'm off. So, very good. Me, me, me neither, neither is it? Me neither. Me neither. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Carlos. Very good. You remember. You remember. You can also say, I am not going to work either. You can say that too. Yeah. But very good. Hello, Anna. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Good evening. And... I'm so very happy because I am. ¿Cómo se dice restablecer? Uh, Reestablish. Reestablish communication with my family. Um, almost 18 years old. Uh, we know Oh, that's I'm very, really good. I'm very happy. Uh, uh, it's so very happy. Wow, <laughs> you look <laughs> happy. Todo el día estaba, todo el día estaba bien contenta por eso. That is excellent news, and I yes, you look happy. I'm really happy to hear that that you reestablished right. communication with your family. That is something really good. Sí, qué bueno de verdad <ríe> sé que a veces las, las relaciones de familia pueden ser un poco complicadas verdad a veces uno se pelea un poco o a veces también se aleja por cosas por el trabajo situaciones así entonces es bueno siempre tener una buena relación con la familia I think that at the end uh, you still care about your family no matter what happens even if you fight even if you don't agree to something at the end, you always care about them, right? So. Always family. They are always family. Yes, that's true. They will always be family. So, very good. Okay, so, well, I want to thank you guys for being here because I, I know that, that you guys are, have other things to do. You also uh, already completed all of the exercises that you have to complete. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to be here. That's, I, I really appreciate that, guys. So, well, for today, uh, we are just going to, you are just going to check a couple of things online. And I want you to practice just for the last time. And we are going to see some new information too, okay? I want to share some information that I have prepared for you guys. And well, this is going to be the final class. Uh, next week, I think that you will not have, you know, you know, you won't have any more classes next week. And then I think that you will get like the diplomas. Uh, I don't know how it works. I think that you will get the diplomas a couple of days after next week. Okay. Probably like by the end of next week, you will get all of that. That's what I think. Uh, yes, Francisco. Uh, de mi parte, el título mío ya lo descargué. Oh, ya, ya lo tiene. Uh -huh. Excelente. 
Muchas gracias. Así que ahí prueben ahí ustedes porque ya tendría que estar. Excelente, Francisco. Gracias, gracias por eh, compartir eso. La plataforma Yo... está, Francisco. Yes, in progress. Creo que es el que lo descargué y dice download y no recuerdo qué. Ahí lo pueden descargar. Very good. Es más, voy a ir ahorita. Espérame, déjame un segundito. Espérame, espérame. Progress. Very good. Muchas gracias, Francisco. Ustedes prácticamente nuestro soporte siempre está ahí, ¿verdad? Adelantado. <ríe> está bien, está bien. En, en todos los sentidos, teacher. Fue el momento que la plataforma <ríe> es súper lenta para pasar. Yes, yes, I know. That's fine. Take your time, Francisco. Yes, we can wait in the meantime. No, no worries. Yes, so... Well, that's very good. That's really good to know that uh, the diplomas are already available. For the ones that don't know, uh, the diplomas can be downloaded from, from the website, okay? So in case you guys want to take a look, uh, Francisco said that you can do that on the website, okay? So let me see here. Yes, Francisco, go ahead. Okay, in progress, uh, Christopher, yeah, this is the number, you verify a bubble. Mm -hmm. To have any certificate of, for the car, say this a view certificate. Okay. Ahí solo dan clic y les va a pasar a una página X y ahí solo lo descargan PDF. Y listo. Excelente. Okay. Excelente. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, Francisco. Very no good. Problem. So there you go, guys. Just in case that you don't have it, now you know how to do it. Okay. You can just go to the uh, to the course and then there is an option so you can check the progress. And there, there will be an option so you can download the certificate, all right? So that's going to be it. Very good. <clears throat> okay, guys. So like I mentioned before, for today, we're going to uh, we're going to check a couple of things. I want to, uh, I know that you guys already completed the final exam, but I want to, I want to check that with you just in case, because I know that some of you didn't understand some of the questions, uh, like Anna, I remember that Anna told me that there was something that she couldn't do. So we're going to check that today, uh, just to clarify any questions that you may have about that, okay? So let me share the screen with you here really quick. This is going to be a good review about everything that we've done during this, during this level, okay? So, <clears throat> All right, so basically guys, here uh, we have this, uh, this is the first exercise that you guys had. And this is something that you were supposed to listen. There is a conversation. Well, actually there are two conversations between two different, uh, well, uh, two different people. And you were supposed to answer the questions based on this audio, okay? So that's what you guys uh, were supposed to do. So we're going to listen to this. Uh, so don't, okay, just pay attention and if you can take notes, let's do that, okay? The purpose for this is so you can practice your listening skills, okay? So if you have a pen and paper, uh, just be ready. I'm going to play this, the audio, and then just take notes, all right? So please let me know when you guys are ready. Are you ready, guys? Estamos listos? Okay, ready. Okay. Bueno, entonces lo voy a reproducir, guys, y por favor, eh, prestemos atención, ¿ok? No se escucha. Uh, hey, your hey, microphone. Thank you, Francisco. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I forgot to do this, ¿ok? Thank you. There we go. I all... de Francisco is... <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, I think that you you always remind me when I forget something. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And, I, and I forget a lot of things. Okay, so I am sorry about that, guys. I am sorry. Okay, so let's do this again. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? 
Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Okay, so we are going to listen to this one more time, guys, and then I will ask you some questions, all right? So let's listen to it one more time, okay? Please pay attention. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Okay. Just a second. Okay. I'm sorry about that. All right, guys. So, uh, all right. So, I would like to ask you some questions about this. Okay. So, all right. We have this conversation between two people, Wes and Laura. Okay. So, Laura is trying to invite Wes to something. So, what is Laura trying to invite Wes? Is she inviting Wes uh, to a concert or what? Can you please tell me? Uh, Laura party, teacher. Invite to beach party. Okay, so you need to say uh, Laura is inviting uh, Wes to a beach party, correct? Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good, so then, uh, all right, let me just write, write it down, let's see. Just a moment, guys. Let me do it somewhere here. Okay, ahí está. Okay, and what time does Wes start working? Vaya, eh, ¿a, qué, ¿a qué hora empieza a trabajar Wes? Okay, él dice ahí en, el, en la conversación. What time does Wes start working? Okay. I remember 8 p.m., no? Are you sure that 8 p.m.? Are you sure about that? Uh, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember uh, Wes uh, start uh, working 8 p.m. Uh, okay. The party is uh, Saturday. And, um, no. So you said that Wes starts working. I'm sorry. Working. At 8 p.m., you said, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, well, the structure is fine. Okay, that's what we need. But actually, he starts working at 6. Okay. Okay. Very, okay, because Laura, uh, well, <laughs> he says, oh no, I start working at 6. So that is the reason why uh -huh. he's not going to be able to go to the beach party because of that, because he starts working at six, okay? And also, Wes, uh, what kind of job does he have? He has, uh, he says on the on the audio, the kind of uh, job that he has, okay? Do you remember that? He, he, works, at, he works at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay, maybe. and for how yes. long, Jenny? How long mm -hmm. does he work at the restaurant? Does he work full time or part time? Full time. Full time. Are you sure? No, not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> not really. Okay. Oh, be careful. <laughs> yes. Part job. Part, part. He works part time. Part time. Okay. Re recuerden eso, guys. Part time. 
Esto okay. lo estamos haciendo para que mejoremos nuestra memoria, nuestro listening y para que ustedes puedan contestar estas preguntas de forma espontánea, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, eso es lo, el objetivo que yo tengo con esto, que ustedes puedan decirlo eh, de manera natural, ¿de acuerdo? Que no sea un proceso tan mecánico, sino que sea más natural, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, yes, eh, he starts working at six and he, he has a part-time job, ¿ok? Part-time. Let me write it down for you. Okay. He has a part-time job. Okay. So if you guys don't work eight hours here in El Salvador, then you guys have a part-time job. Okay. Because you don't work uh, the complete, uh, you know, the, the amount of hours that you're supposed to be working. So you can be considered a full-time. Okay. That would be the other expression okay full-time job but you if you work less than eight hours you have a part-time job all right okay so then uh, let me see okay so i think that that should be everything now we're going to continue with the next audio okay the next conversation guys so let me go back to the other part here there we go okay now let's listen to this guys please pay attention and then uh, write it down as much as you can. Tiene, tiene silencio el micrófono, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. I, thank you. Thank you. Let me. Yeah, the problem is that the audio, it won't play for some reason. I don't know why. So let me reload the page. There is something going on here. Okay, I'm going to replay the audio. Let's see what happens. Yeah, sometimes Bye. it takes... Uh, Bye. There we go. Bye. Okay, ahora sí, guys. Lo voy a poner. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we are going to listen to the audio one more time, guys. So here we go. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay. So in this case, guys, we have a conversation between Rita and Charlie. Okay. So Charlie is inviting Rita to something. Okay. So what is it that Charlie is inviting Rita to? Where does he wants to go? Where does he want to go? I'm sorry. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. What is uh, performance? I, I am. Mm -hmm. I, um, no, no me acuerdo cómo se dice hoy que decía performance. Mm -hmm. what, what is the significance? Good question. Yes, very good question, Francisco. Thank you. Uh, that is a, well, that is a really good question. And that is something that I was, I always had trouble with that word. But performance, most of the times, it means, uh, dependiendo del contexto, ¿verdad? Puede significar rendimiento 
o en este caso es una presentación. Oh, ok. ¿Mm? Así sí, que eso sería. En la conversación y le dice ahí que no va a poder porque tiene que ir al al estadio uh, baseball baseball game field baseball game I don't know, remember mm -hmm. no dance yes. performance it's a dance dance performance yes that is correct thank you okay. Jacqueline so uh, Charlie is trying to invite Rita so they can go to a dance performance that is what oh, okay, okay. he wants so then uh, Rita she says that she cannot go because she is busy okay so what is Rita going to do? And what is the reason why she is not going to be able to go to the dance performance? What is the reason why, guys? What is she doing? What she is she doing on, on the weekend? She has to study to the test. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when is she going to study for the test, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Is she when? starting? When? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Or, um, no, when when I don't remember, but mm -hmm. I I I I understand, I understand that she has to study to the to the test, and she's mm -hmm. going to the basketball game. She's going to the basketball game too. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the test is on on Monday in the morning. Excellent. Uh, Mm -hmm. I think. Excellent. That is correct, Jacqueline. Thank you. Yes. So the test is going to be on Monday morning. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Excelente, guys. Eso es lo que me estaba buscando, que nosotros utilicemos también estas expresiones de tiempo que hemos estudiado. ¿De acuerdo? En este caso, on Monday morning or uh, this weekend or on the weekend. You know, that kind of expressions. So very good. Very good job, Jacqueline. Okay, uh, so she says that she needs to study for the test and the test is going to be on Monday morning. Okay, remember that guys. When you are talking about a, a specific day, uh, like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, anything like that, you will say on Monday, on Tuesday, just like that. Very good. Okay, and then it says, Okay, so she's going to study for the test, right? Very good. Excellent job, guys. So we're going to move on. We're going to continue. Let me show you something here. Okay, vamos a ver. Bueno, entonces vamos a completar esto rapidito, guys. Vamos a hacerlo rápido. Ahora que ya escuchamos los audios. Okay, en el primer caso, Tenemos West invitation, it is to a beach party, right? Okay, do you remember that? Then it says West excuse. We have different options, like Amy and Terry are going to be to, uh, Amy and Terry are going to be there. He doesn't like going to the theater. He starts working at 6 p.m. Yes. And none. So no. this one, right? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Jenny, uh, so which is the correct answer, Jenny? Uh, he starts at work at 6 p.m. Excellent. Yes, very good. He starts work at 6 p.m. Very good. Okay, then we have Rita. It says, well, it just says Rita in both. Let me see. Okay. Uh, this one is a little bit confusing, right? But I think that is basically the same thing. A Rita invitation. So in this case, I think it is the dance performance, right? Because uh, Charlie was trying to invite Rita to a dance performance, right? Yes. Very good, very good, guys. And in this case, uh, we have the second uh, question. So which is the correct answer, guys? We have, she doesn't like sports. She isn't feeling well. Uh, she needs to study for a test. So what is the correct answer? She needs to study for a test. She needs to study for a test. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. So all of them are correct. 15 out of 15, guys. Very good. So let's move on. Eh, no sé si, bueno, creo que esto está 
completamente claro, guys. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta adicional sobre alguna palabra o algo que quieran saber. No more questions. Ok, let's well, continue. You know, teacher. Very good, very good, Francisco. Excelente. Me gusta que pues estamos quedando claros con todo, ¿verdad? Así no se van al siguiente módulo con alguna duda de algo. <laughs> Sí, no quiero que tengamos ese problema. Y después les van a decir, bueno, ¿y quién fue que te dio clases antes? Entonces, que no sabes esto. Entonces, me quiero evitar eso, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, guys. So in this case, uh, the next section that we have, it says, complete the conversations, use the correct form of the verbs. Read each one carefully so you can get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. Okay, so we have, Uh, this uh, question, this sentence in this case that says, uh, what do you tonight? And we have two verbs. So we need to put those two verbs here in the correct order. So, okay, so what do you think? What would be the correct answer in this case, guys? Uh, the literal A is plan to do. Plan to do. Uh -huh. Complete is what are you plan to do uh -huh. tonight? Ok. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería entonces, Francisco? Uh, when, what do you plan uh -huh. to do uh, tonight? Excellent. Very good, Francisco. Thank you. Very good. So that is the answer. Yes. What do you plan to do tonight? Ok. Very good. So then uh, we have the next sentence. It says, I, and we have want to stay home. Yes. Want to stay. Man. One, I'm sorry. Yes, want to want stay. To say, stay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Is, Very good. Uh, I want to say home. There is soccer match on TV. There is a soccer match on TV. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Now, eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver el siguiente por acá. Vamos a ver. Eh, Ana. ¿Cómo sería el siguiente por acá? A ver, ayúdenos. Yeah, you could say going to do. Ok. What are, what are you and they going to do con la forma ING, verdad, teacher? Sí, correcto. What are you going to do? Because okay. in this case, we are asking what these two people mm -hmm. uh, will be doing tomorrow in the future, right? So that is the reason mm -hmm. why we need to use the ING form because of that. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Ana. Thank you. So then uh, we have the next uh, question here. It says, uh, we like have a barbecue on the beach. Please, we like rain. to have. I would like, we would like to have. Okay. No, 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 no. We would like to have. Oh, perdón, perdón. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Thank you. Uh, yes. So Complete that's... is we would like to have a barbecue on the beach. Mm -hmm. and the may rain. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Francisco, thank you. Uh, let's see. So then, uh, let's see. Let's continue. So Maritza, uh, can you please help me with this? What would be the answer in this case, Maritza? What do you hope to do after graduation? Excellent. That is correct. What do you hope to do after graduation? ¿Qué esperas hacer después de la graduación? Aquí, pues, en la mayoría de los casos, esperamos trabajar en nuestra área, ¿verdad? Cosa que cuesta a veces que pase. Pero eso sería lo ideal. ¿De acuerdo? Yo tengo okay. miedo todavía, teacher. ¿Por, ¿por qué? Mie Porque miedo de me qué? equivoco mucho. Yo me mean... entender todo eso. No, that's okay. I mean, I think that you you are doing good, Francisco. You you are doing good now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Finish is would love to travel. Would love to travel. Yes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Travel. Yeah. So in this case, I would love to travel. Uh, yes. I know uh, Europe. Creo que se dice for a to while. Europe. I would Europe. like to travel okay. in Europe for a while. Okay. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Okay, if so. A teacher, sí. No. Oh, tiene razón. Go, go low to travel. Would like to travel. You're no, right. No, no, no. Love. Love. Oh, love, 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 love. Love, love. Ah, thank you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo creo que ya estoy un poco dormido, quizás, la verdad. 
Okay, yes, would no love problem. to travel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Carlos. Very good. So, yes, uh, let's see what happens. Let's, uh, yep, so there we go. <laughs> Very good, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys, thank you. We are almost complete. We just need to move on to the next one, okay? So, let's see. It says circle the correct word. Okay, so we need to choose the correct answer in this case. So, we have different kind of sentences. We just need to check the correct answer for this. So it says there are lots of beautiful trees in this. Okay, we have forest. sea, forest. forest, and waterfall. Forest. forest, very good. Yes, forest, because there are no trees in the sea, right? There are no trees in the sea. It's just in the forest. The waterfall, that is a uh, cascada, así que no es verdad. Okay, so then we have the next sentence. It says a, uh, it's a very hot and dry place. Desert. Uh, desert. Oh, desert. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Desert. Okay, desert. Desert. Okay, remember, guys. Okay. Desert. Okay, then we desert, have sorry. dessert. Dessert is a is a, a food. Okay, we have desert oh, okay, okay. and dessert. <coughs> Keep that in mind. Okay, so a desert is a very hot and dry place. That is correct. Okay, and then it says A is always higher than a valley. Okay, aquí estamos comparando dos cosas, si ustedes se acuerdan, estábamos, eh, esto es parte de lo que estudiamos, cómo comparar dos cosas. En este caso, un valle lo estamos comparando con otra cosa que es alto. Entonces mountain. vamos, a mountain, very good, mountain. yes, a mountain, thank you Mayra, that is correct. So yes, eh, una montaña, si ustedes recuerdan dentro del vocabulario, di dijimos que una montaña es más grande que una colina, Y es más grande que un valle, en este caso. Ok. So, yes, a mountain is higher than a valley. Very good. Ok, so now let's see, guys. We're just missing three more. We are almost done, guys. Ok, so the next one, it says, please marry. There is a school party on Sunday. Ok, esto es lo que acabamos de ver. Lo que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer. Eh, cuando sí. íbamos a utilizar tell o ask. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, ¿cuál please sería? Tell, please tell, tell. Mary. Tell. Okay. Uh, how? Okay. Um, Myra, can you please uh, help me with this? What would be the answer in please this case? Mm -hmm. Please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Myra. So, yes, that is the answer to this. Please tell Mary sure, there is I a have school a party. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, bring. Uh, what is uh, significant? Uh, significant in Spanish. Uh, Sorry. Su, su, uh, what is a uh, translation in Spanish? For what? Bring. 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 Oh yes. So the meaning it is uh, traer. Traer algo. Oh, okay. De acuerdo. Esa es la respuesta también. To bring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you ask yeah. Bill to bring, to bring to bring the concert tickets tonight? Okay. Entonces vamos a ver por acá. Bueno, dejo a los demás compañeros que ellos contesten. <laughs> okay, gracias, gracias. Okay, gracias por. <laughs> All right, so we have the last one, and it says, "Could you, Dana, that the movie starts at 8:15?" Okay, so what will be? Tell... ¿Cómo? Could you tell? Okay. Ask. ¿Cuál sería? Could you tell? Lu Luis dice que sería tell. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ask. Oh, ask, teacher? No, he's still. Recordemos, eh, recordemos lo que estábamos viendo el día de ayer. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, teníamos los statements y teníamos las solicitudes. ¿De acuerdo? Cuando era un yes, statement, tell, nosotros tell. utilizábamos tell. Uh -huh. So, en este caso sería tell, ¿verdad? Porque solamente estamos diciendo de acá para adelante que la película comienza a las 8 con 15. ¿De acuerdo? No estamos pidiéndole que haga algo. Solamente estamos diciendo la película comienza a esta hora. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, cuando es así, solamente una declaración, utilizamos tell. So, in this case, could you tell Dana that the movie starts at 8.15? Okay? Very good. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Excellent. Okay, guys. So 15 out of 15. Everything is perfect. 
So let's continue. Let's move on. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so in this case, guys, it, this section, it is uh, complete the sentences. Okay, so it says, <clears throat> complete the conversation with would, will, I'd, or I'll. Okay, so we have these uh, sentences, like number one, and we need to complete using one of these expressions that we have here, okay? So it says, what do you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. That is the answer, okay? So what would be... What, what, uh, what, what would you like what to would eat? What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Correcto. Recuerden que eh, utilizábamos este cuando estábamos haciendo un como ofrecimiento, ¿de acuerdo? O una, sí, un ofrecimiento en este caso. ¿Qué le gustaría comer? Y la respuesta en este caso es the fried chicken, el pollo frito, por favor. Very good. Okay, so then let's continue. It says, what kind of potatoes would you like? And then we have space, have the mashed potatoes. ¿Cuál sería? Acá, vamos a ver. Eel. ¿Cómo? Eel. I will. Sí. I... I will. Okay, very good. So, yes, that is correct, Maritza. Yes, it is I'll. Okay, I'll have the mashed potatoes. So remember, guys, when you have the contraction like this, you need to say I'll, okay? It's like there is an L sound at the end. So just I'll. I'll have the mashed potatoes, just like that, okay? So I'll have... Déjenme ver que acá creo que hay que tener cuidado. Lo voy a copiar mejor. En algunos casos, eh, si ustedes utilizan, por ejemplo, como yo lo estaba colocando aquí, si ustedes utilizan esta barrita que está acá, que es inclinada, a veces se lo puede tomar como malo. Entonces lo mejor es colocarlo así. Ok. So I'll have the match. Well, en este caso solamente es I'll. Ok, sería I'll have the match potatoes. Ok, solamente... Eh, just a moment, guys. Sí. Okay, guys, uh, please give me just a moment, okay? I, I just need to answer a message really quick. I apologize, guys. Hello, teacher. <laughs> yes, just a moment, guys. And two yes. is heal. Como? And yeah. number two is heal. The three heal. Ah, tres, okay, number three. Yes, tres is heal. Thank you. Thank you. Just a moment, guys. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry, sorry. Need to do something really quick. Tómese su tiempo. Gracias, gracias. Vamos a ver por acá. Bueno. Okay. So in this case, it says number three, anything to drink. That is a that is a question. Yeah, it says yes. Is please. Eat. ¿Cómo? I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Eh, la three is it, pero I'm sorry. Contesté en vez de la compañera. Perdón, perdón. Sí, eh, perdón. Sí, Maritza. Sería I I o con I o o I would. Yeah. Encantado. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you. Yes, so that is correct. I like some water, ok recuerden eh, cuando nos preguntan así, nosotros decimos eh, me gustaría, en este caso I would like some water so in this case eh, the contracted form it is I'd, ok I'd like some water just like this, just give me a second guys I will go here to copy it, then paste there you go, ok so I'd like some water, very good Let's see. 
Okay, then number four, it says anything else? No, that be all. Okay, so what would be the answer in this case, guys? Will. Will. That will be all. That will be all. That, okay. And remember guys, that in this case, you need to uh, say this, uh, like I always, <clears throat> like I always said, okay? You need to remove the L sound and then you just say, no, that would be all, okay? That would be all. Would be all. Mm -hmm. That would be all. Excellent. Be all. Okay, so we're just missing the last part, guys. We are almost finished. Let's see. So then he says, which city, uh, Buenos Aires or Lima? So in this case, we're trying to make a comparison between two cities, in this case. And the quality that we're trying to compare is how, cry how crowded these two cities are. Okay, so we have Buenos Aires on one hand, and then we have Lima on the other hand. So what would be the answer here, guys? More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. Okay, crowded. More crowded. Which city is more crowded? Like crowd. More, more crowded. Okay, so we said that we use this uh, word more when we have a, an adjective like this, okay? A kind of adjective that ends with ed or ing, all right? So that's the answer, guys, very good. So then we have number two, it says, is Disney World amusement park in the world, okay? The most famous. The most famous, okay? Most famous, amusing, amusement, I'm sorry. Uh, the most famous. <clears throat> The most famous. Mm -hmm. Okay, ¿y por qué decíamos, por qué vamos a utilizar the most famous? ¿Y por qué no the more famous? ¿Por qué? Because it's super Latin. Um, it's about the, the, the world. That is correct. That is correct, Jenny, yes. Because we are talking about the entire world in this case, right? We're not comparing the the amusement park with another amusement park. We are comparing this with the entire world, okay? That is the reason why we use the superlative form in this case. Okay, then we have number three. And it says, what is a river in the world? We have the Amazon, Danube, or Nile. So what will be the answer here, guys? The longest. The longest. The longest, okay? And what is the reason why? What is the because mm -hmm. uh, we compared uh, of the three, three places. Uh, that is what correct. is uh, the, the longest? <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Thank you, Marita. <laughs> that is correct. Very good. Yes. So in this case, the reason is because we have more than two. We have three in this case. So we are saying which one of them has the... Uh, the highest degree of this quality. In this case, the highest degree, uh, which one of the three is the longer, okay? So that is the reason why. Very good, Maritza, thank you. So let's see, excellent. There we go, guys. We're almost finished. We're just missing, I think just two of them, okay? So let me see. All right, so the next, uh, the next section that we have, it says, look at each message, complete the request, placing the name in parentheses in its correct position. Remember capital letters, questions, marks, and periods when necessary. Okay, so we have here, uh, we have an example. It says 10, <clears throat> uh, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Okay, ¿qué tipo de oración sería esta, guys? ¿Sería esto un statement o sería un request? Un statement. Just a statement, right? 
just use statement. an statement. We are just saying that the class, I mean, I'm sorry, we're just saying that the test is on Thursday at 1 p.m. So in that case, we just need to say here, please tell Ken. Please tell Ken that the test mm -hmm. on Thursday is at 1 p.m. On Thursday is at 1 p.m. Okay. There we go. Sí. at 1 p.m. Bueno. Falta el punto. No, perdón, perdón. Vamos a ver. Si hay que ponerlo todo porque es de lo contrario puede que no resulte bueno. Correcto. Ok. Entonces ahí está. All right. So please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Excellent, guys. Okay, so here it says, meet me after class today. Okay, so is this a statement or is this a request? This is a request. Request, request teacher. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep, this is a request because, and the reason is because we are asking somebody to, to wait for us after class, okay? We are asking somebody uh, to meet us after class today, okay? So then the answer will be, would you ask? And then, well, in this case, we need to just Alex. from here. Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex. Alex. To meet. To, mm -hmm. to meet. Okay. To meet me mm -hmm. after class today. After after class today. today excellent job guys yes thank you so would you ask <clears throat> alex to meet me after class today there we go that is the answer excellent job guys okay Teacher. yes um change the point for, for um a question mark oh yes 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 right there you go yeah because we are saying uh yes it is a question you're right Yes, would you? Yes, very good, thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, so then we have the next sentence and it says there is a volleyball game tonight. So is this a request or is this a statement, guys? The statement. Statement, very good, thank you, Maritza. Yes, because we're just saying that the volleyball game is tonight, okay? We're not asking for anything, right? So then uh, the answer will be, could you tell Marcus and then that? Sí, eh, puede ser de las dos formas, como dice Carlos, o también se puede de la otra forma, ¿correcto? Se puede. Pues a mí me lo tomo there is, there is uh, bueno. o there is, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ajá. Bueno, entonces... Sería Marcus that there is, no serían las dos, teacher. Sí, de, de ambos tendrían que ser válidos, porque si ustedes recuerdan, dijimos que podíamos utilizar eh, tanto that o simplemente omitirlo y que el significado va a ser el mismo. Eso fue lo que dijimos. Pero si el sistema pues no lo toma así, lo vamos a dejar solamente eh, Marcus, there is a volleyball game, right? A volleyball game tonight. There we go. And then the question, question mark. mark. Then the question mark, yes. Right, so then uh, we have the final sentence, guys. The last one. Okay, it says, uh, come to the picnic on Saturday. All right, so is this a request or is this a statement, guys? It says request, request. No? This, uh, this is a request. Yes, that is correct. Because we are asking uh, somebody to come on Saturday to do something in this case to the, to the picnic yes en esa pregunta mucho les ha fallado por cualquier uh -huh. cosa aviso okay 
So what would be the answer in this case? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Esa, this answer, I, no la puede hacer. Se la tomo no la... como mala, no. ¿Y cómo, ¿Y cómo la hizo usted, Ana? ¿Cómo la hizo usted? No, ya le dio error, pero la, la respuesta es... A mí me dio es... error. Ajá. Sí, sí. La respuesta... Yo lo escribí. Paula Chucón. Paula Chucón. Ajá. To the... Paula Chucón. To come to the picnic. Saturday. Oh, okay. 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 On Saturday. Uh huh. Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. On Saturday. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a little confused. <laughs> Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday, yes. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, my son, Teacher. a question. Uh -huh. um, point and final. Yes, okay, yes. Uh, the dot at the end, right? Okay. Yes, uh, what happens is that in this case, I think that this, uh, this is not a, a question, right? As you can see, uh, always a question is going to start like this. Could you, would you, but in this case, it just says, please ask. Okay, so this is not a, it's not a question. We're just asking somebody to do something, but we are not asking a question in this case. Sí, en este caso, eh, si ustedes se fijan, no tenemos la estructura de una pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque una pregunta siempre empieza de esta forma, el verbo auxiliar, luego el sujeto. Y este caso no es así. Entonces, no era una pregunta sino que era una solicitud nada más, ¿sí? Entonces era, please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday. Ok, just like that. So, ok, en ese caso, Ana, ahí lo tiene, ya. Yeah. Ok. Es que así lo puse, teacher, pero creo que como le di muchas veces, no, no, no lo aceptó. Yeah, es okay. la única que no... no That's the only. Por eso lo hice el 98, creo, pero... There we go. Okay, very good, guys. Yes, thank you. There, there we go. So we're just missing the last one, okay? We are finished. Yeah, thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Sí, ahí lo tienen también, por si lo quieren copiar, guys. Just in case. Just in case, okay? Okay, and finally, we just have these... Uh, uh, this is just an article about the Hawaiian Islands. And we have a uh, here, a, you know, it says, everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii, the big island. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top, on top of its, uh, I'm sorry, on top of its two biggest volcanoes. On the west side of the island, the weather is sunny. Kailua, Kailua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80, 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. It only goes down to 64 Fahrenheit degrees in the winter and 69 Fahrenheit degrees in the summer. Uh, the Koala area is the north, in the north is the driest part of the island which, with only about 10 inches of rain a year. On the east side, uh, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain per year. It's the wettest city in the United States. All the rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. The water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the Big Island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. Ok, bueno, esta eh, pequeña lectura, guys, básicamente era sobre las islas de Hawái, 
describe cómo es el clima eh, en las diferentes partes de las islas y también dice algunas curiosidades, ¿de acuerdo? Como por acá, dice que el nombre Hawái es tanto el nombre del estado, eh, Hawái es un estado de Estados Unidos, ¿de acuerdo? Y también es el nombre de la isla de, de un estado, ¿ok? Entonces dice que es, eh, pues esto puede ser con, confuso para algunas personas, ¿ok? Entonces, no sé si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta acerca de algo del vocabulario que está acá. ¿Alguna any question, guys, about this? Ok, so we have here... Yo ni me acordaba de eso, la verdad. <laughs> sí, <laughs> me okay. dio tanto, pero tanto tiempo para poderlo resolver. Sí, me imagino. Es que acá este, tenían que leerlo un par de veces para entenderlo, ¿verdad? Entonces acá dice, what is Hawaii? Ok, so it says here in the reading that it is a state and it's also an island, ok? So it's I have both. a question, teacher, I'm sorry. I'm yes. Uh, what is uh, significant in Spanish? Ancient or frame per year. Yes, ok. What is, uh, what is uh, translated in Spanish or... Um, and, sorry, uh, wh whatever, uh, what is, uh -huh. what is city, okay. what is, uh, translate, I'm sorry, and uh -huh. thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so, uh, let's see, ¿Dónde que estaba? Eh, ahí ver? mismo, ahí, ahí, donde está el mapa. Por acá lo tengo, aquí está. Uh, vaya, acá, yes, so it says, uh, gets 140 inches of rain, Okay. Eh, recuerden, guys, vimos esta parte de las mediciones, ¿de acuerdo? Y decíamos que, por, bueno, en Estados Unidos se utilizan bastante las inches, que son las pulgadas, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces acá nos dice que esta ciudad, que se llama Hilo, eh, tiene aproximadamente 140 pulgadas de, de lluvia al año, ¿ok? Y por eso dice que es la ciudad más la ciudad más mojada, por así decirlo. ¿De acuerdo? Ah, wet, okay. wet, wet es mojado. Y recuerden de que cuando teníamos un adjetivo que era de esta forma, de consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicábamos la consonante y agregábamos EST al final. ¿Ok? So, it's the wettest city in the United States. ¿Ok? Estamos usando un superlativo diciendo que es la ciudad más húmeda o la más mojada de Estados Unidos. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, Francisco. Yes, so it's an state and an island, okay? So then we have what climate is not found in Hawaii? Okay, in the, in the reading, it says that uh, basically Hawaii has all kind of weather, okay? But it doesn't have the Arctic weather. That's the only one that it doesn't have, okay? It can snow sometimes, but that is not really an Arctic weather, right? So then it says, how hot does it get in Kailua, Kona in the winter? Está por aquí, vamos a ver. Dice Kailua, Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80, 80 Fahrenheit degrees in the winter. And 87 Fahrenheit degrees in the summer. So it is asking for the winter, right? So what will be the answer here, guys? Thank you. 80, 80 Fahrenheit degrees. 80 Fahrenheit degrees. Yes, excellent. 80 Fahrenheit degrees. And then the last one, guys. It says, where does it rain the most? Okay. Donde llueve más que en todas las otras partes. Vamos a ver acá. Eh, vamos a ver. Um, es la más Hilo. seca. Hilo. That is correct. That is correct. Yes. Hilo gets around 140 inches and it says that it is the wettest city in the United States. So yes, that is the one with the most rain, okay? What it rains the most. The east. That would be? In the east. It is east. On, on, the on the east. east. On the east, okay? On. East. Well, aquí, no sé por qué lo pusieron así, pero on the east. <laughs> bueno, vamos a ver acá. Okay, there we go, guys. So perfect, perfect score. Okay, so we completed all the final exam, guys. Uh, just in case that you had any questions about this, uh, these are the answers, okay? So do you have any questions about this, guys? Anything else? 
No questions. Ok. Bueno, eh, entonces, guys, eh, eso sería todo. Eh, muchas gracias por todo el tiempo que han dedicado durante este mes. Les agradezco mucho eh, por su paciencia conmigo, por su colaboración siempre. Y pues les deseo lo mejor a todos, de verdad. Y si, bueno, tienen alguna duda en adelante, pues ustedes saben que ahí estoy yo a la orden por cualquier cosa. Y bueno, espero poder verlos más adelante también, ¿de acuerdo? Gracias. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. 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 Por todo. Gracias, Qué teacher. Guapo. Gracias. Muchas gracias. En serio. Gracias, Qué guapo, guys. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Stay safe and I will see you around. Okay. Okay, teacher. Bye, bye. 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 Bye.